A lot of boxing fans have been clamoring for it. A lot of people want to know, will the biggest fight left in the sport of boxing at the moment ever happen between Canelo Alvarez and Triple G, Gennady Golovkin? Now, let me just start off by saying this. After Canelo's last fight against Amir Khan, in which everybody knew in the boxing world, in the boxing universe, that uh, Amir Khan really didn't have a chance in the squared circle with Canelo Alvarez. So let's just get that out the way. I mean, he hit him with a right hand that was so hard. I, I, I mean, I, I feel bad. I, I thought the dude died in the ring. I mean, honestly, I feel bad because during the fight, I felt like Amir Khan was controlling the fight on the outside using his jab, using those combinations that he typically throws against his opponents, using his footwork, kind of a la Floyd Mayweather style. He was trying to get in and out, in and out, but he stayed in there a second too long and got caught and knocked the fuck out. Now, we all knew that was going to happen. Canelo knew it was going to happen. Everybody knew it was going to happen. Hell, Amir Khan trainer even knew it was going to happen. He was pretty upset after the damn fight. Virgil Hunter was highly upset. He says, dare to be great. The same thing that Bernard Hopkins is saying about Triple G, I can say the same thing about Canelo Alvarez because it was obvious he was feeling himself after the fight. He invited, quote unquote, he invited Triple G inside of the ring to look him in his face and said, look, this is boxing. I'm Mexican. I don't fuck around. We don't fucking play with boxing. That's what, that's what Canelo told Triple G face to face. Now, he said he wants to make this fight. But does he really want this fight, y'all? Because I'm just looking at the history, man. And both of their records are impressive. But if you look at their level of competition. Now, for instance, Canelo Alvarez. His biggest fight was against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Who schooled him, took him to school, embarrassed him, outboxed him, made him look slow as molasses. He fought Lara as well, Israel's Lowry, however you pronounce his damn name. Miguel Cotto, Amir Khan, I guess I could throw him in there. He fought a Sugar Shane. But outside of that, who has Canelo really fought? Now, let's transition over to Triple G's record. He's a 35-0 and with 32 knockouts. Okay? His biggest fight to date was against David Lemieux. His claim to fame was against David fucking Lemieux. I mean, what are we even talking about? Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm just looking at these names. Daniel Gill, uh, 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 Marco Antonio Rubio, uh, Willie Monroe Jr. I mean, he's fighting a bunch of Uber drivers, man. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I don't, I'm not so sure if any of these guys are as good as the boxing world are making them out to be. Now, I do think whenever this matchup takes place, I do not think Canelo Alvarez will be able to defeat Triple G because I do think Triple G is the better pure boxer. I do think Triple G uses his jab a hell of a lot more than Canelo Alvarez. And I also think that something is to be said about Canelo always fighting a smaller guy. The problem at the moment, he wants Triple G to move down opposed to stepping up a few pounds, which he normally rehydrates to 170 plus pounds anyway on fight night, meaning Canelo, to fight a Triple G. How is that fair? Now, even though you're the a side and you really don't need Triple G, I get it. I understand it. I really think this all boils down to Oscar De La Hoya, the same guy who criticized Floyd for waiting so long to fight him, the same guy who criticized Floyd Mayweather for waiting so long to fight Manny Pacquiao, the same damn guy that is protecting his biggest investment in boxing at Golden Board Promotions, Canelo Alvarez. He does not want to see Canelo get destroyed. He does not want to see Canelo get shredded by Triple G because that is exactly what's going to happen. Now, even if Canelo lose, I think he's still going to be a big this happen. Trim out. And those are my thoughts. And like that, I'm gone. Rothstein Sports. Subscribe to it. Like, dislike, don't matter. I'm gone.